Uh, my name is Guy Neil. Um, we are right now in the Tingu lab at uh, Harvard Medical School in the genetics department. Um, I'm a new postdoc here, just got it like a month ago, doing research that involves the alterations in the chromatin uh, states through development. So my background is biophysics. I guess when I grew up I was interested both in physics and biology. I come from Israel, so fortunately uh, one of the universities had a special degree bachelor degree in biophysics. I became very interested with some um, basic phenomena, like uh, basic physical uh, uh, forces that uh, govern our everyday uh, gravity, um, electric electricity and other uh, forces and at the same time I was very interested in, in, our, in our bodies, in our surroundings and also I felt that if I'm gonna go into science, then yeah, I'm probably, hopefully I can do something, give back something to the community. Um, you know, after you've, after you've reached 18 and you feel like you got so, so much from, from the environment, you know, all the technology in our life and all the medical equipment that we have, and you wanna give something back. So uh, I think that science hopefully allows you to do so. Because I just started here, so it's kind of tough for me to know exactly what I'm going to do. But definitely, I'm going to. I know that I'm going to use uh, microscopy tools. Try to use how structure of our genome affects genomic outputs. For example, how does uh, uh, alterations in the conformations of our genome affect uh, transcription, gene regulation? Our genomes go through lots of uh, regulation, and in order. That, that it wouldn't develop into some disease, then the, uh, the regulation has to be precise and it to be very robust. And, uh, the conf and of course the conformation of our DNA is of course highly important for many basic uh, procedures inside a cell. So I feel that studying those alterations and understanding how they actually uh, interfere with every uh, every basic biological phenomenon is highly important if we want to know how to avoid some diseases and how we can correct the diseases. The way I th see it is the only place that you can actually be yourself and it's the only place that you can do whatever you want to do and there's so much to study so I guess that my advice just start slowly start with your bachelor degree and then see how it goes from there right? Thanks.